Any Hero Carding Simplified. It's December 17th, and I was going to wait because I posted my last update video in the middle of the week, but things are just happening here so fast, uh, I've just got to do another one. Now, we showed a few, uh, propagating a few more, and in this past week with this tray here, We've done another 72 plants. I'm trying to get these uh, cuttings that I had in the refrigerator uh, going ahead and plant. I don't know that I'm going to need this many plants, but uh, depends on how many failures there are and such as that. So I'm going to put these out here on the shelf. All right, got them out on the shelf. And uh, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I get excited when it comes to growing figs from cuttings. And there are leaves coming out all over. And I got to looking. Of course, I had to open up some of these because the the uh, plastic was blocking the leaves that were coming out low. But these things are just shooting out uh, so many roots in here that uh, I'm going to have to pot up some of these. So I'm going to go through here real quick. I'm going to find out how many I got. And... Uh, then we're we're going to take a look at them. Things are really moving along fast now. Today we've got uh, 21, and one of these I can't think that's done that in four days. But I wouldn't put it past uh, how fast roots go. I couldn't see how I could miss one having that many roots out. Uh, this one here is a black mission. Uh, it was. Or just a little over a month ago. Uh, we've got some of these like this Brunswick. It's just now putting out roots. When it, when I can see a root at the edge, that means there's a lot more uh, on the inside. And these have got some good roots. This is a Peter's Honey, which I'm glad that I get another one of those rooted. I really like that variety. Uh, we've got LSU Gold that's going. Now, the LSU Gold is a new one that I uh, just started this past year. And this SFA, which is uh, one that was propagated by Dr. Creech at SFA, it's doing good. And we've got some Ronde Bordeaux that are putting out good roots. Uh, Let's see, another black mission, and this one just got a little root showing there at the bottom, which is plenty enough for me to go. Now, a lot of these don't have a lot of leaves, and, and a lot of people are worried about the amount of leaves. Now, you can see how good the roots are. These leaves were kind of uh, down there, possibly the plastic, uh, the cellophane over them, and they do not like that. That's a Ronde Bordeaux. And then I've got one of my compost figs that's Start the root out, and another one. Uh, these were started on the fifth. They're a little slower to root, but they are uh, getting after it. Like I said in prior videos, don't think because it takes a long time for one. Uh, this here was the 24, so it's been, I guess, about three weeks, and it's uh, really taken off. Just a little um, small one off the top. This was a green cutting. And a lot of times they root quick. There's another one here, uh, this Violet de Bordeaux, which is a little over a month, and it's starting to root. It's, like I say, some of the leaves don't look good. In fact, a lot of them, it's just like this one here, this Olympian. It has got all kinds of roots coming out, and it wants out of this container. Uh, and its leaves were kind of, uh, the cellophane was kind of, uh, wrapped around them uh, but it's it's going to do okay even when they start wanting to root and go to a bigger and they get into a bigger container they really take off uh, we've seen some of those in the in the greenhouse and that's kind of cool out there today and we've got them covered because uh, it's pretty close freezing weather last night and, and we don't want to slow them down uh, there's a lsu gold that's putting out its roots this is a Geno. You can see a root right there. Uh, 
but it's starting to root and it's getting pretty good leaves. Some of these leaves like down here were uh, the cellophane was against them. And what will happen is they don't like that much moisture and they'll start rotting. You can see good roots coming out there on that violet de Bordeaux. Uh, here's a a white Adriatic uh, fig that's that's uh, doing good. I uh, got another Ronde Bordeaux, and this one you can see little little roots coming out there, and other little ones there, and that's going to tell you that there's a lot of other roots in there. So there's no reason to to wait unless you just want to wait. Uh, this one here is doing good, and it's another Violet de Bordeaux. Uh, these ones are a little over a month old. Uh, this Ronde Bordeaux is uh, about a month old, and it's the same way. See, it's just starting to get little roots come out. Here's a, another little bit here, but there's plenty of roots in there. I, uh, and this one here looks rough because the cellophane is... Uh, trapped it in there. It's a Violet de Bordeaux. And uh, I know there's a root. Oh, it's up here higher. Uh, like I say, some of these, you might think they're going to root out the bottom of your cutting, but a lot of times the roots come out quicker towards the top. And uh, that's what's happened with this mission fig, uh, where they've come out the top and then they just want to start climbing all over because of the extra moisture with that. Uh, bag over them. Now over here we have some other cuttings that I've taken out. These uh, here are going to be uh, they look like they're dying. They they uh, dried up. They, they haven't done good. And you're going to have some failures whenever you uh, propagate. Now I'm not going to uh, set and dwell on them as much as I did last year. Last year I had it quite a bit, but it's a different method that I was using uh, with my cuttings. And and that, I think that's what caused a lot of it. Now, some of these cuttings didn't actually uh, get the cinnamon treatment before uh, I put them in. I, I got to thinking about how I was doing that. I don't use any root stimulator because uh, they, with my tests, they root just as well. You know, they might be a day or two behind or sometimes ahead. You can see how well these are rooting in here, and, and they've just been stuck in there. No cutting the bottom uh, or scraping the bottom or making little cuts down the sides on the bottom. These have just been uh, taken and, and set out. In fact, some of these uh, seem like there was a, a Texas ever bearing that was in here that was I was going to check to see how long it had been uh, as far as maybe I, let me see yeah I missed it I had to go back out there and see but I had a two two more so it was 24 that I've got this week and uh, this Texas ever bearing which is just now starting to put out a a leaf on it and I, I know there was a root in there somewhere oh it's up here uh, towards the top maybe if I uh, pull this wrapper off of here and we'll take a look and, and see I'm sure I can do this one handed But you can see how the root is uh, really active up there. And th this is a, about a, a month old, too. But its root is actually coming out over the top. Uh, it's just got one little leaf. And, and a lot of you that's worried about I like to see leaves before I pot them up. I, I very rarely would pot one up with that didn't have a leaf. Now, this is starting to put... And it's really hard to see with the reflection of the the uh, cellophane on there, but and this is a uh, Italian ever bearing. 
and it's got it just got one little root coming out but that's plenty enough for me to know this is uh, rooting out to the edge the only thing that i worry about when i uh transfer them when they're this small sometimes the uh media that they're planted in doesn't have enough roots to hold it firm and it might break apart and that would disturb the roots a little bit but in most cases that's not a problem and uh but as you can see i've got two dozen here that's got to be potted up into gallon pots and put outside now in my last video i talked about uh i was going to scrap my uh, elderberries that i'm propagating but i took a couple of them out and it seems like the uh, little bumps that are on the the uh, cutting that's normally where roots will start to come out are starting to swell. Now, they just might be behind, but these little bumps right here where they'll put roots all out of on them, they're, they were starting to swell on the bottom. So because of how late these were, or I say how late, uh, late in the season they still they were still green but they were trying to go dormant and that could affect how how fast they uh, decide to wake up and go so i'm just going to leave them there it's not costing me a thing it's not like i gotta have the area uh, for them and we'll see how these do and we'll follow along with it but anyway i hope uh this is encouraging to those of you that are wanting to propagate uh, you can see how easy this is to do uh, uh, how enjoyable when you have these uh, new plants from just cut, cutting a piece of an old plant and if you want to follow along and, and keep keep up with our updates well of course hit that subscribe hit the bell and select all and of course give it a big thumbs up and share this video Enjoy that gardening experience.